What's going on everybody and uh, thanks for joining me for another uh, watch review here. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, reviewing the uh, Calcio Pathfinder, the PAW1300 in my right hand and the PAW1500 in my left hand. Now this is a request from uh, a person who wrote to me uh, on my last watch video. He requested to see my Pathfinders. But uh, rather than do, doing two reviews, I thought maybe I'd just do a comparison review since they're technically the same watch anyways. And there goes my hourly alarms. Um, so let's start with the uh, physical looks of it. As you can tell, the 1300 looks slightly smaller in, ter in terms of uh, the outer uh, circumference than the 1500. The screen size, I believe, is about the same. Or actually, I think it's dead on. Um, but... Uh, and then here's the thickness of both the watches here. You can tell that they're uh, they're pretty similar. And here on the side, you can kind of tell that the uh, 1500s a little bit uh, you know taller and wider and everything like that. The button configuration is exactly the same on both. You got your sensors up here in the uh, uh, the 11 o'clock uh, area, and you got your mode button down here about the 7 o'clock area. I got your adjust and the light button down here. So here's adjust. Here's light. And you got your uh, three uh, main functions here. You got your compass, uh, barometer, and altimeter on this side. So aside from that, the straps are pretty much the same, except the designs on them are a little different. Uh, for example, if you look on the back here, you can tell that, that uh, this one has some weird little notches here, where this one's kind of more like a rib look. Uh, personally, I prefer the 1500s um, strap. Now these straps, uh, norm you can't replace them with like NATO straps or anything like that. Obviously, by, by the design of this, uh, of this uh, or how it's linked to the actual case of the watch here, uh, you can, however, buy like um, uh, aftermarket straps, and uh, and I believe uh, Casio uh, or Casio uh, OEM straps as well. Um, but on that is a pretty tough watch. Uh, I've never had any problems with any of them yet. This is this one's relatively brand new. The 1500, 1300 I had for a little while. As you can tell, look, see, there's like little chunks missing out of the bezel. I've, I've been wearing this for quite a long time now. Um, so let's go ahead and run through some of the modes here. Um, so first off, let's go and start with the uh, the differences between the home screens here. And let me grab my pointer here. So on the 1300, there's the receive indicator. That just means it, it took a, uh, uh, it received the atomic clock signal last night. Now both these are atomic, and both of them are solar powered, so it's great. You never really have to worry too much about the batteries running down or dying on you when you really need it the most. Uh, they both have the date up here uh, and the day on this. In this case, um, this symbol is the uh, the alarms and also the hourly alarm chime. Same with this. Same with the 1500. The alarm and the alarm chime. Here's your date. Uh, day of the week actually. Uh, then you got your main time which is down here your seconds. Now the 1500 shows a little bit more on the main screen. Uh, it shows you the current time, uh, daylight savings time. This little this little arrow here is the uh, receive indicator but also shows you the moon fa moon phase and also shows you a tide graph as well which is the basically the two extra features on the 1500 that's not on the 13. On the outer ring here if you can see it ticking away here this is the, um, the seconds. Let's see if I can get that close look here. There you go, right there, the seconds ticking away. See with the 1500, here's the seconds. Now on the on the home screen here, uh, you can also, oh, I'm for, sorry, I forgot, the battery indicator for the 1300 is down here, low, medium, high, and then the power save is on. Same with this one. The H stands for is high, it's, uh, high battery power, and, uh, and the PS is the power save. Now on both these, when you hit the graph, or graph, I'm sorry, when you hit the adjust button, you can get, uh, on, in the 1300, you get the uh, year, the month, and the date. And if you hit it one more time, you get a barometric graph. Now on the uh, 1500, you don't get the year, you just get the day of the week, the date, and the, um, or the month and the date. But if you hit the adjust button, your day of the week turns into a barometric graph, just like the 1300 does. All right. So off the main screen for the 1300, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, start with this one really quick here. On 1300, you hit the uh, the mode button one time, you get your uh, record view uh, screen, and this shows you uh, uh, altimeter readings and barometric pressure readings and all that kind of stuff, so stuff that you recorded. I don't quite use this, so I'm not really too sure how to use it, but you would just use these buttons to scroll through, like, uh, you know, your like what's the maximum height that you're at, so on and so forth mode button one more time you get world time and you can go uh, through all the uh, different time zones cities and stuff like that one more time you get a stopwatch again basic stopwatch starts down here just like all most of the Casio watches stops down here resets up there current home time down at the bottom which is nice it's always nice to have your current time whenever you're using a timer or a stopwatch speaking of which this is the timer 
Again, start and stops down at the um, down at the uh, uh, four o'clock position here or five o'clock position, and then you stop it. Resets up here in the two o'clock position. And I use this for lunches and breaks. That's why I love timers and stopwatches. Here's your alarm page. So I got the hourly signal on. You got the one, two, three, four, and five alarms on here, which is great. No snooze though. So if you guys like your snooze alarms, this thing does not have it. The last page here shows you when it last received. Uh, it's a received last night at 1:05 in the morning. And uh, if you hold the alt alt timer uh, button down, it'll start trying to receive right now, which I know it won't do. So let's go ahead and cancel that, and then back to your home screen. Compass and a barometer and altimeter, pretty straightforward. You hit the compass, and you can see on the outer ring, it'll, uh, it'll start taking a reading here, or start giving you a bearing or heading. Now, the thing about this is that after a few seconds, this um, uh, compass actually just turns off. I mean, it doesn't just stay on like this, which uh, I wish it'd stay on a little bit longer, you know, but... I guess this is the way that they uh, they built it. Same with the 1500. You see, like it just stops. <laughs> so uh, next after that, we got the uh, barometer and uh, thermometer. Basically, I have mine set to hectopascals and uh, uh, Fahrenheit. So here it is, kind of cool. And uh, the last one is the altimeter reading, which I'll just show you. You know how many feet or meters. So you can set that. All right, and back to the home screen. Now, on the 1500, let me set this aside for a second, 1500, uh, if you hit your mode button once, you get your tide, uh, tide graph and moon phase. So it should stop uh, rolling around animating here in a few seconds. There it goes. So then you can use these buttons to scroll through. Uh, actually, you can scroll through the hours with the, with the barometer button here on this day. Uh, and you can uh, use the altimeter and compass to, to scroll through, if you look down here, the date. That you want to see, uh, you know, the current or in the past or in the future, you know, what the tide and moon uh, uh, graphs are going to be like, or you know, what the moon's going to look like. And then this thing's going to run its course here. Let me go and hit the mode button again. You get your standard timer, just like the 1300. So start and stops down here. So this, 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 the start it, stop it, and the compass button is to reset. One more, and it'll get you your stopwatch. And again, start down here, stop, and then reset. World time, same as the 1300, you can use the uh, compass and altimeter buttons to cycle through the cities, you know, going backwards or forwards, you know. Now, this again, this is your hourly, uh, alarm page, so you got your hourly alarm, and then you got your alarm one, two, three, four, and five. Again, no snooze. All while your current time is displayed down here, which is very helpful. This is your records page, so it shows you the minimum and maximum uh, from the alternative readings. So it just records your progress if you ever go hiking or, you know, mountain climbing or whatever. And then this shows you your receipt page, shows you uh, the last time this watch received the atomic uh, update was at 1.05 a.m. last night. Now I have, again, my, my watch is set to 24 hours, so it does not show an a.m. or p.m. on this side. And then, of course, if I hold down the altimeter button, uh, it'll start. It'll start try to attempt to make a receive. So cancel that. Back to the main screen. Now this uh, this one, unlike the 1300, the bezel is uh, bi-directional. Um, but of course, since it does not have an analog face, uh, you don't get the little timing bezel on here. Uh, on that, that's pretty much it on this watch. Let me show you what these watches uh, look like on my wrist here. So let's go and put this on. Let's see here. So this watch here, let me roll my sleeve up, is a pretty chunky watch. I mean, you can tell it's a huge presence on my wrist. Uh, kind of tall, not really. I guess it's actually rather thin for, for, for a watch with all these functions on there. So not bad. Now the 1300 uh, looks a little bit more uh, more slimmer in comparison. And it does not, uh, you know, it does not look as chunky on your wrist as most of the other, or, the, or some of the other Pathfinders do. So it's a little bit smaller. And I love the the extra large display on all these which it makes it great you can tell it looks about the same height wise but you know it just doesn't look like it has all these like protruding bits onto it so looks pretty nice all right so finally let's show you the backlight now backlight on these are going to be the same as all your other um, um, you know Casio watches here so stays on for just a, a second and a half maybe but not too bad nice bright glow um, See here, this is the 1500 now. 
Oops, get that thing lit up. Oh, pressing the wrong button. That's why, guys. Sorry. There you go. So the 1500 lights up with the same backlight. Very bright, as you can see. But again, I wish it'd be a little longer. So. All right. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, here you go, side by side comparison. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, like this video. If you got any questions, comments, please leave it below. Other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next uh, video. So take care and thank you for watching.